Give the outside of your house a facelift and add an impressive dose of curb appeal. We've got creative makeover tips for any home exterior from Cape Cod to ranch style, decorating ideas for indoor and outdoor porches, expert picks for the perfect front door paint colors, and tips for getting your garden, patio, and walkways ready for spring. This is Better Homes and Gardens. Welcome to Better Homes and Gardens. I am Jackie Tranquita. The front of your home, it's the first thing everyone sees, so maybe it's time to add a bit of wow and get the neighbors talking. We've got some great ideas coming your way, but we figured we'd start with something a bit more big picture. Here's an inspiring way to give an old exterior style a brand new look. A plain facade, neglected and hidden behind overgrown landscaping, develops storybook character with nature-inspired details in a stunning makeover. This home, built in 1895, had lost its character during previous remodels. The goal? Tap back into its historical roots. The plan added a stacked stone fireplace and three dormers, referencing arts and crafts styling. Cedar clapboard siding and cedar shingles also add dimension and curb appeal. When the sagging front porch was rebuilt, it was more than just a structural overhaul. The old knee wall was removed and the columns rebuilt. A beaded board ceiling, new fans, and a stone floor give the revitalized porch charm. Beyond the big ticket items, small details are also important to the new look. The shutters feature a pine tree cutout design. Their green hue adds color to the brown and cream facade. Copper gutters and downspouts were chosen for the interesting patina they gain as they weather and age. Removing a few trees took the landscape from overgrown to lush. New, full beds continue the home's storybook look and beautifully showcase its improved appearance. Get more outdoor home improvement ideas at bhd.com. Coming up, exterior makeover plans for Cape Cod and ranch style homes, the perfect paint for exteriors and front doors, and we'll get your gardens and patios ready for spring. Better Homes and Gardens will return in 60 seconds or less. Welcome back to Better Homes and Gardens as we show you some inspirational ways to add curb appeal. Here are some structural and cosmetic tips that are perfect if you have either a Cape Cod or a ranch style home. Before, this home's Cape Cod charisma hid behind a dull landscape and lackluster colors. Its amazing transformation shows how you too can work a little magic on your home's exterior with a few smart tactics. Overgrown shrubs and trees were traded for cheerful plantings that carry the cottage's friendlier facade to the street. A new stone retaining wall topped with metal fencing now defines the sloping lot without blocking the view. Wide flagstone paths guide visitors straight to the front door and visually tie the landscape to the home's exterior. Beyond landscaping, changes to the home exterior are wow-worthy too. Adding a portico to the front door was a relatively simple update, but it gives the home a more commanding presence. Dental molding on the portico columns gives the house a traditional air. A fresh coat of off-white paint unites the brick cladding, wood siding and trim helping the facade stand out rather than recede. Taupe shutters offer just the right subtle contrast. With architectural enhancements, simple cosmetic changes, and fresh landscaping, this lackluster cottage became a remarkable sight. Take cues from its transformation, and you too can have the best home on the block. An uninspired ranch house was a blank canvas making it the perfect candidate for a makeover. Without a distinct housing style to follow, the homeowners tapped their creativity and introduced mid-century modern charm to the home. A new peak in front porch draw attention from the street. The small scale of the porch is proportionate to the home's facade, but still big enough for a cozy seating area. And the overall design follows the peak of the existing garage, so this new addition doesn't look out of place. Natural cedar decking and rails boast a clean look, in step with the mid-century modern design. And a new garage door with frosted glass panels and shingle siding are just two of the details that make passers-by take a second look. Lush landscaping brings year-round color to the front yard, plus it's a decorative way to separate the house from the street. A curved walkway from the front steps creates a natural spot for a flower bed that's anchored with a pair of decorative evergreens. If you have a nondescript home with no name style, don't be afraid to embrace something a little unique for the facade. By working with what you have, 
selecting a signature style and sticking to it, you too can have a home with lots of curb appeal. Of course, color can make a big impact on your home, so start right at the front door. This is a quick and easy update that makes a statement. There's a great trend in curb appeal that I'm loving right now. Painted front doors. Why not show your color personality at home by painting your front door a bright, beautiful color? When it comes to the exterior of your home, there's just not a whole lot you can do to express your personality without getting the Neighborhood Association's radar on high alert. That's why I love this trend. Painting your front door is a great way to express yourself. Take a look at these exteriors before and after. From plain Jane to, oh wow, they're fabulous. I love using bright hues such as orange, yellow, green, red, or even purple. Even though these colors may feel like a little too much on the inside, remember outside, there's a whole lot going on around your house. You've got sky, grass, trees, all that concrete and asphalt. I promise a really bright, bold hue won't be as shocking as you might think. Painting your front door is something that is easy to do, easy to change when you need to change it, and it's something that is not gonna turn your neighbors off or turn a buyer off from your home because it's something that they can easily change if they want to. And what better way to give a friend directions to your home? All you have to say is, just look for my door. It's the color of sunshine. In the dark about choosing a front door color, make your point of entry pop with one of these tried and true hues. Make your doors stand out in every season with a vivid green that's a variation of shades in the landscape. Celery green paint wakes up a weary facade and forges a strong house and garden connection. Gray shaded blues strike the perfect style note on coastal, colonial, and country homes. Painted in a mid-tone blue, this white frame door takes its color cue from the home's seaside locale and the bluestone walkway. If an overhang darkens your entry, Paint your door a bright hue that contrasts with your home siding. Robin's Egg Blue brings this front door out of the shadows. Cherry Red doors always offer a warm welcome. They complement most neutral facades, but really pop when set against light to dark gray exteriors. Keep an intense color from overwhelming your entry by choosing a door with windows. Emerald Green makes a grand first impression that suits formal and historic home styles. Ensure your entry grabs attention by using the jewel tone only on the front door and painting surrounding trim in unexpected color, like buttery yellow. Energize a monochromatic facade with a high gloss front door. A shiny putty colored door adds interest to this gray painted exterior and it would look equally stylish on a red brick home. Whether your home is relaxed or formal, you too can find a front door color that flatters your exterior and reflects your personality. ready to take on a bigger paint project outdoors, but what's the perfect color choice for your house? Here are some expert picks. A striking exterior color scheme can take your home from forgettable to picture worthy. See how these three homes combine paint colors to play up their best features. Don't overlook colors in favor of plain neutrals. A cheerful apricot exterior with green accents is a fresh take on the traditional white farmhouse. The yellow undertones craft a warm exterior. Do mix flat and shiny surfaces when painting your exterior. Use flat finishes on the body of your house and use shiny finishes to highlight millwork. Do repeat. Gray-green paint on the window sashes and front door pops against the other colors without being overbearing. Do look to your landscape for color inspiration. Green, brown, and coppery tones that appear in nature always work well together. Don't always blend in. Choose a front door color that contrasts with your home siding, but coordinates with an element on your exterior. Do try a dark color scheme by painting two-thirds of the exterior in a dark hue and one-third in a lighter tone. Coffee brown and white paints keep this exterior simple, yet striking. Don't overlook wood finishes, they'll contribute color to the mix. This deck plays off the roof's copper hues and softens the home's contrasting colors. With these ideas, you can be confident in choosing exterior color combos that put your home's best facade forward. Color is clear.
clearly a fantastic way to make a first impression, but you want to make sure the path to your front door is memorable as well. So here are some creative ideas to upgrade your walkway. Boost your home's accessibility and overall appeal with a better front walkway design. Front walkways join public right-of-ways and private spaces. Safely guide guests to your door with a clear, level walkway. A width of 3 to 4 feet allows two people to travel side by side. Choose walkway materials that match those on your home's exterior. Own a brick home and want a quick fix? Frame any style walkway with bricks that match or complement your home. Use a walkway to underscore a home's architectural style. If your home is contemporary, restate its modern leanings with large pavers resting in beds of river stone. Instead of a typical pathway leading straight to your front door, use a winding route that invites guests to enjoy the journey. Show off your landscaping and frame a gently curving walk with lush plantings. When well maintained and crisply edged, even the most straightforward concrete sidewalk enhances a home's accessibility and appeal. Check out more exterior design ideas at bhd.com. Still to come, inspirational tips and design ideas for your front porch and your back patio, and we'll help you get your garden ready for spring. Better Homes and Gardens returns in 60 seconds or less. Welcome back to Better Homes and Gardens. Whether you have a large or a small enclosed front porch and whether you want to go for a fancier decor or have fun with a charming weekend makeover, here are some great ideas to make your porch pop. A front porch comes with big opportunities to maximize space, comfort, and curb appeal. Boost a basic porch railing with an eye-catching design. A geometric motif adds instant charm. Give an outdoor room indoor personality by painting the floor to look like a colorful rug. A stencil is a quick and affordable way to create a custom look. Use furniture to maximize square footage. A porch swing seats one to three people, and a garden stool can be called into service as an extra seat or a side table. A small space lends itself to simple storage add-ons. Add an acrylic bin to the side of a porch swing to store reading materials. Try topping a shipping pallet with plexiglass to create a sturdy landing zone for drinks and decor. Even with a small front porch, you can still live large in your outdoor room. Enjoy your indoor porch with smart tips from these luxe spaces. Perhaps you're fortunate enough to own a grand space, like this Tuscan-inspired porch. This one is truly special, with tall arched doorways, a limestone fireplace, and wrought iron chandelier. The key is to choose furniture to complement the architecture. Because this room is so commanding, the designers chose heavy furniture in a dark finish to ground the space. This solarium is an elegant spot for afternoon tea. If you've got a space soaring with light, choose neutral colors that don't distract from the garden view. Add pops of color, like the pink in these flowers and accent pillows, to add a little panache. Casement windows easily convert this glass room into an open air porch. Covered areas offer more versatility when it comes to choosing furniture, but be sure to consider fabrics and finishes with UV protection to prevent fading. A large screened porch shows off a modern, campy vibe. If your porch has rustic elements, like these exposed beams, ceiling fans, and wood floors, go casual and natural. Choose comfortable furnishings with a woody color scheme. Leave natural wood finishes bare or slightly stained to show the wood grain. Finally, lean toward green with fabrics that complement the great outdoors. And now, some great tips on how to bring the inside outside and how to get the most out of your outdoor space. Use tips from these luxurious outdoor spaces to make your own deck and patio comfortable and inviting. This outdoor space blends seamlessly with the interiors thanks to sliding glass doors and indoor styling. This space boasts a comfortable sofa and matching armchairs with a coffee table and pretty accessories. 
standout amenities are essential for bringing the party outside. Here, a grill makes entertaining easy. A fireplace extends the season for outdoor living. Consider outdoor rooms when developing a landscape plan, especially if you live in a temperate climate. Here, an L-shaped sofa is part of the design. The bench is set on a stone foundation and formed with concrete. A beverage cooler is set permanently into the pavers. And on the other side of the unit is a fire pit. Deep armchairs on this patio invite relaxing. A roof provides shelter, and a fireplace adds warmth for chilly occasions. With these tips, you can enjoy indoor comfort in your outdoor space. Get more outdoor design ideas at bhd.com. Up next, from fragrant flowers to affordable hanging baskets, we've got great tips you can do right now. Better Homes and Gardens will return in 60 seconds or less. Welcome back to Better Homes and Gardens. We've been showing you ways to add curb appeal to the front of your house and how to design inviting porch and patio spaces. And while it may be a bit early for your garden to start blooming, you can add gorgeous color to a porch or patio with containers. Here's a quick guide. I'm Eric Liske with Better Homes and Gardens magazine. Containers are one of the most popular topics with our readers, but a lot of people don't know where to start. There's a surefire formula, we call it spiller, thriller, filler, and it works every time. Many people struggle with color combinations. They're not sure what goes with what. An easy way to work that out is to just put plants together in your shopping cart. If they look good, then you're gonna be happy with it. A good container design has three elements. The thriller, which is a good place to start, is something larger than the rest, maybe it's upright, something that really has a distinctive look. Start with that, and plant it toward the back or perhaps in the center of the container. Next, you'll wanna use a, a filler. This is something that's going to be more moundy. It's going to provide a lot of mass and volume. It's not going to be too tall. It also won't fall over the edge of the container. Coleus is a nice one. Geraniums, many things that grow upright, but don't get too tall and don't trail. The spiller is anything that will trail over the edge of the pot. So when you put these three things together, you'll have something tall, something medium, and something trailing. It'll look full. It'll give you a lot of variety and usually these designs look great as soon as you plant them. For containers, remember the one simple rule, thriller, spiller, filler, and it works every time. Now let's turn our attention to the garden. Here are some great tips to get the season started, everything from spring annuals to fragrant plant varieties to hanging baskets. Get an early jump on spring color with cool season annuals. These plants thrive in cool weather, and some even shrug off a light frost. So as soon as garden centers stock them, take some home and plant up a nice early spring container. Annuals that thrive in cool spring weather include Dusty Miller, Dianthus, Alyssum, Snapdragon, Petunias, and the best known, Pansies. They do well in beds, but because cool weather won't last long, you may not have long to enjoy them before pulling them out to make room for summer annuals. That's why many gardeners just use them in pots. One exception is pansies. They're so hardy, they can overwinter nearly anywhere in the U.S. Therefore, many gardeners plant them in flower beds in fall, knowing they'll return again the following spring. When you put together a spring container design, follow the thriller, spiller, filler rule. A tall focal point, like this osteospermum, some colorful fillers, like these dusty miller and snapdragons, and some spillers, in this case, sweet alyssum, that will cascade over the side of the pot and don't overlook perennials for your container designs. They usually take cool weather with no problem, and when warm weather hits, you can plant them in your flower bed. Here, we're using a heuchera for its colorful foliage. A sweet scent is one of the best benefits of a flower garden. The right flowers will make you stop and enjoy both their color and their fragrance. Many plants release more of their fragrance in the evening, especially white flower ones. Be sure to plant them along your walkway where you can enjoy their scent after work. Nicotiana, or flowering tobacco, is a very easy annual to grow. This variety is called woodland nicotiana. It's very old-fashioned, highly fragrant, especially at night. 
and can grow six feet tall. Annual sweet peas are a favorite old-fashioned flower that can climb on a fence or trellis. They bloom in spring, but burn out once it gets hot. Be sure to plant your seeds in the ground early. Most roses are fragrant, but old-fashioned roses are among the most fragrant. This is a dwarf Rugosa rose called Frau Karl Drusky. Rugosas are tough as nails and very fragrant. They are known as the beach rose in the eastern U.S. because they are often found growing along shorelines. People don't often think about petunias when they think about fragrant flowers, but they can be highly fragrant, especially in the evening. Petunias come in many colors and bicolors, but the white ones are among the most fragrant. Old-fashioned varieties typically have more scent than the newer hybrids. Phlox is an extraordinarily fragrant, summer-blooming perennial. It's drought-resistant and comes in a wide variety of colors. It blooms midsummer right up until frost. In shady spots, you can still have fragrant flowers, too. Many varieties of hostas are sweetly scented. Read the labels to make sure the variety you're considering is fragrant. A fragrant flower garden is one of the best parts of summer. Add some scented varieties to your garden this year. We see lots of stunning hanging baskets every spring. Planting your own is a fantastic way to add color and curb appeal and save some money too. The first step to a successful hanging basket is to choose the right plants. Concentrate on plants that have spilling or mounding habits. Plants that are very tall and upright tend to feel out of proportion. Resist the urge to overfill your basket. The more plants you have, the more often you'll have to water. Most hanging baskets easily accommodate about three to five plants. Make sure the plants you pick are good neighbors too. If you have a vigorous variety, like these sweet potato vines, make sure that you have a strong plant that can keep up, such as this Patunia petunia. Otherwise, the bigger, faster growers could crowd out the smaller ones. Start by filling your basket with a high-quality potting mix. Don't use garden soil. It doesn't drain well, it gets heavy, and it can contain pest or disease organisms. Once your basket is about filled with potting mix, carefully remove your plants from the nursery pots by gently squeezing the pot and pulling the root ball out. Try not to pull the plants out by their leaves or stems. This can damage the plant or break it off. After the root balls are out of the pot, gently massage them to spread the roots. Add more potting mix around your plant's root balls, filling the basket to the top. Keep in mind that your potting mix will settle a bit. After the mix settles, you'll have something of a lip between the potting mix and the top of the basket, so that when you water, the moisture pools there instead of running over the side and getting you wet. Finally, there's that one part of the house that many of us overlook, the garage. Here are some ideas to help you get that well-used space cleaned up and organized for spring. Garages are called upon to store a lot of gear, and this garage takes storage to the extreme. Take a look at what makes it the ultimate garage. To counteract clutter, the garage was divided into zones for sports gear, bikes, gardening, and tools. Channel strips attached to garage walls create vertical storage with specialized tracks for hooks and brackets. Sturdy brackets hold bins on a higher strip. This out-of-the-way storage is perfect for seasonal items. Mesh bins keep sports gear visible and easy to find. Storing bikes vertically saves on valuable floor space. Heavy-duty clamps have a quick-release mechanism that lets riders get on the road fast. Vinyl floor tiles affixed to the wall minimize marring from muddy tires. A mix of shelves and storage strips keep gardening gear orderly. A tool strip stores larger garden and yard tools. Stacking plastic totes provide mess-free storage for bulk yard supplies, such as potting soil, bird seed, and mulch. A locked plastic cabinet for gasoline, garden fertilizer, and other adult-only supplies rests on a high shelf out of kids' reach. Cabinets and pegboard keep tools and hardware in order within a convenient workbench station. Labels organize tools on the pegboard, and cord managers wrap hoses and cords with tangle-free ease on a track mounted to the wall below the workbench. Pairing custom components with off-the-rack solutions ensures every inch of this garage is put to good storage use. Well, I hope we have inspired a little spring fever, and you're excited to get out in the garden or give that porch or patio a bit of new life. 
That is it for this episode of Better Homes and Gardens. I am Jackie Tranquita. Thank you again for joining us. We'll see you next time.